From the altar chapel, we enter the Oratory of Mary of the Carnation's tomb. This memorial and place of recollection was built in honor of Mary of the Incarnation, foundress of this monastery and of the Ursulines of the Canadian Union. In the center of the room is the tomb beneath which lie the remains of Mary of the Incarnation. This heavy black granite structure, decorated with gilded wood, was completed for the 300th anniversary of her death in 1972. Step back. On our right, we observe the first stained glass window. Then a widow and mother of a young boy, Marie Guillard entered the Ursuline of Tours in France. She took the name of Mary of the Incarnation. One day, she had a vision of Jesus showing her a land of hope. Later, she went to Canada to build a monastery and teach young native girls. This stained glass illustrates this call. Move to the left of the first stained glass window. We have a second one. This stained glass window presents Mary of the Incarnation's mission to educate and evangelize the little native girls. By learning four native languages, she adapted to different cultures. As we see here, she often taught outside, specifically under a large ash tree. We turn to the right and move towards the grill. With our back to the grill, we look up. This bronze statue of Mary of the Incarnation holding a church in her arms is actually a copy. The original adorns the front of the Quebec Parliament building. Lower our gaze. We leave the oratory to go to the inner chapel. 